The big picture is that we still really don't understand how our brain recognizes objects. A large portion of our brain is devoted to visual processing, visual signals. Therefore, we believe that if we understand how the brain recognizes visual objects, it will help us understand how it works overall. So, in the brain, visual signals are processed in a number of stages. In primary visual area, it's been known that neurons respond to edges. So when I view surroundings, each neuron in the primary visual cortex will respond according to different edges um, throughout the visual scene. But it has been um, a major enigma of what happens just in the next visual area. The issue is that even though it's just the next stage of processing, it has very complicated features that were difficult to summarize. We think that these organizing principles can help us detect disorders of visual processing that affect or start in this area. We got the data set from a public repository. The experiment recorded the responses of brain cells in monkeys that were watching natural movies. And then we used some novel statistical techniques to analyze the data, try to figure out what in the movies uh, was causing the neurons to respond and what type of computations those neurons were doing. The mechanism that we discovered could help us understand how we detect changes in texture. For example, uh, an example of a change in, of a boundary defined by change in texture if uh, some part of the visual scene has predominant disorientation and another one has um, texture that is of a different orientation, then we would see that there is probably a boundary between these two objects. One of the applications is just understanding object recognition, how we're able to look at an object from different angles, from dis different distances, under different conditions, and still see the same thing. Another application is computer vision. By taking the insights of the brain and how it solves a problem, we can use that to inspire solutions for you know, automated cars. There are many applications of computer vision algorithms from flying an airplane to a self-driving car to uh, other robotic devices. And it seems that every time we add elements of computation that are found in the brain to these algorithms, perf their performance improves. More generally, vision is an example of a problem where we can quantitatively study how the brain works.